Hello everyone, welcome back to Snowflake tutorial series. Let's talk about Snowflake virtual warehouse in this video. So what is a Snowflake virtual warehouse? A Snowflake virtual warehouse is nothing but a machine which Snowflake creates virtually by providing some CPU, memory and temporary storage which is needed to run Snowflake queries. So ultimately it's a machine but virtually created by Snowflake. So how Snowflake manages behind the scene? So whenever you create a warehouse by clicking on this plus warehouse and give you the name and whatever uh, parameters you are going to select based on that Snowflake allocates the necessary compute resources and makes them available to your queries. And once all your queries are executed and if you suspend a warehouse manually or like this auto suspend feature if enabled then snowflake will suspend it after some time and snowflake will release all the resources created for that warehouse will back to the pool so basically snowflake maintains a pool while creating takes the resources as per the requirement and releases back when the task is over or you suspend manually that warehouse okay so this is how Snowflake manages warehouse behind the scene. Now how many types of warehouses Snowflake provides us? So let me show you in this form itself so you will understand. Like if I say uh, test warehouse, okay, I am just going to create test warehouse. Now as you can see there are two options available. Of course you can add the command for any object in Snowflake. So suppose you are uh, creating this warehouse for testing purpose. So I will say this is for testing purpose. Okay. So if anyone else is coming to this portal or uh, web interface and see this warehouse and, and if he wants to know what this warehouse is for, then probably you reading this command will help them. Right. So now next thing is type. So you can select the type standard and snowflake snow park optimized. So basically what happens here that uh, Snowflake provides us to write snow park scripts which is going to run on warehouses. So suppose that particular script is using spark, uh, snow spark and uh, basically it is going to have a lot of memory is using. So in that case whenever you are running any memory intensive task of course you will need larger memory into the warehouse. So in that case you will need snow park optimized warehouse so you can select it but keep in mind that when you select this the pricing will be different look at this for type standard and these are the t-shirt size is as you can see this is extra small is one credit per hour but if i select this snow park optimized okay it starts with medium but medium is six credits per hour and if i see in standard medium is four credits per hour so two credits more than standard right so that is why you have to keep in mind which type of warehouse you want to use now once you select standard these are the t-shirt size so suppose you have uh, some very low workload then you can go with extra small so as you can in, as you increase the size of the warehouse the credits will be used more and one credit is equal to different for different regions and sometimes uh, different for account level as well. Suppose you are using standard account, there might be a little bit lower side because three dollars per hour probably, uh, three dollars per credit. And if you are going for enterprise, then same uh, region probably it will charge you four dollars per credit. Okay, so these are the uh, t-shirt size uh, right now are provided in uh, Snowflake for standard type of warehouse. Then let me select extra small for now. Then there are two other features uh, Snowflake provides that are advanced options if you want to enable it. So auto resume is it always uh, resumes automatically whenever any statement uh, you are trying to execute. So once that query is an, uh, submitted to execute and whatever warehouse is there in your session it will understand that I have to I mean Snowflake understands that we need to uh, spin up that warehouse and execute the query. So if this flag is enabled, then only it will happen. Otherwise, it will give you an error that warehouse is not 
in enable state or probably it will wait for some time then there is a feature called auto suspend so what auto suspend does suppose you are running queries frequently and there is a time period where suppose there are two hours where you are not going to run any query so in that case what happens you can mention suspend after something like this so suppose you have mentioned 10 so automatically after 10 minutes of inactivity this warehouse will be suspended so whenever this warehouse is up and running the charge is ongoing credits are keep consuming consuming right so you have to make sure that you enable this auto suspend feature because it is going to help you a lot when you are running queries low infrequently okay so now i am enabling it i'll just mark it uh, two minutes for now or one minute probably and there is another feature snowflake provides us that you can create multi-cluster warehouse so basically when you do not select this for this warehouse only one cluster or you can say one machine only will be used okay like extra small but suppose if you are running multi cluster if you are enabling multi cluster now and uh, there is a scaling scale down scale up right so this is the facility which is which is providing now if it you can see is minimum uh, two instances you want to keep up and running and uh, maximum you want to go five so whenever workloads increase automatically or very high then it will scale up to five clusters and if you uh, if your workload is reducing then it will scale down to two clusters so this is standard scaling policy but if you select economy policy it will try to conserve the credits by running fully loaded clusters okay so you can use economy and standard as well standard is like preventing queuing of workloads but economy it does sometimes it sometimes waits for some time so it does not spin up immediately but if you go for standard it will prevent queuing of workloads so it will not put all the queries in queue instead immediately spin up the cluster and uh, route that query to execute on new cluster okay then there is another feature snowflake provides called query acceleration so what it does is like suppose your query is very large it is going to scan probably two years of data which is in terabytes okay and you want to keep it uh, you want to run that faster you can enable this feature but what snowflake does when you enable this feature is that it will take some portion which is runnable in parallel so snowflake will take out that particular portion and spin up some extra warehouse but that is unknown to us we will know we, we will not know at all what resources it is going to use because this is called serverless feature suppose you are running extra small and this query acceleration is used see scale factor is also provided so whatever extra small can does instead of i want to do something 8x then you can use the scale factor it says multiplier for additional computer resources right so that particular portion of that query will run on this serverless computer resources and billing of this will be separate then the warehouse is going to charge suppose your extra small warehouse run for an hour okay for that particular query if it is big query and uh, that query uh, should be, uh, that query will be charged for one, uh, one hour and that will be one credit by the way but because of the query acceleration was also enabled and snowflake consume some resources other than this extra small to accelerate the query response then that will be also charged as a serverless uh, resource consumption so that will be available in warehouse usage portion so you will see query acceleration charges okay so keep in mind that we, uh, you, you should not enable uh, by default if you need this then only you should enable it okay now i am just disabling for now and i am creating this resource i am just creating this warehouse so as you can see this test warehouse is started now and as you can see compute warehouse is by default created by snowflake and which is right now suspended and as you can see here the clusters right now two clusters are running why because we have put it minimum two so that's why it is started 
and within a minute it will also suspend it as well because we have put it auto suspend is equal to enabled right so we will wait uh, we will not wait but we will explain other things and then uh, in within a minute probably we will see that as disabled okay now uh, how to as we know there are a lot of different types of warehouses available but how do you choose the right warehouse size for your workload so actually all depends on your use cases so you, i would suggest you always start with smaller one and then as you need increase the size of warehouse so what is the logic behind that so according to your cases and scenarios first of all you have to prepare some expectations out of the uh, warehouses suppose you have 10 queries are going to run on warehouse and now you know that you want to get output for those queries within a minute or probably within a within few seconds so there are two scenarios right sometimes uh, these queries are purely unsynchronously you need to run so there is no need of real time data output so in those cases probably you don't need faster response so based on those different scenarios you have to go with first with small warehouse then you see if your expectations are matching with query response time then you should be good but if query response is very large and uh, you are not satisfied with your uh, expectation then of course you increase the size then also you need to make sure that when you are running uh, this snowflake database as a on a web interface and you are continuously showing some data on ui and there are a lot of people are going to open their website or web platform and then you might get a lot of queries executing on the same warehouse so probably in that case you can implement multi cluster warehouse of course you can decide uh, what t-shirt size you want to use okay all right so so how you can manage warehouses then of course which i created from here so this is one way of managing so as a developer of the company i want to increase because i know this is not working fine or i need that because i am implementing something which needs larger resource so what i will do i will ask admin and he will add the resource and then he will tell me uh, this is the resource name this is the warehouse name you can use it so that is one way but second way is you can automate the process in your ci cd pipeline and in the code itself you can uh, uh, put some configuration and according to those configuration the uh, warehouse will be created and uh, you are good to go right so snow sql is the beneficial for that you can use snow sql uh, you can run that as a script you can build some sql file which will create resources okay and also modify as well and then there is another way of doing that is terraform so you can use terraform as a ci cd pipeline uh, tool so that also provides us this facility so how do you monitor and troubleshoot warehouse performance so as you can see here the dashboards so this is the facility of dashboards where you can create a dashboard a monitoring dashboard where you will be seeing continuously how much credits are being used per warehouse then which warehouse is running uh, queries how many queries coming in and uh, the graphs you can build lot of graphs here and then based on the graph you can decide or understand what exactly is uh, what or exactly is the bottleneck for this particular uh, functionality or how this warehouse is performing probably warehouse is too large to uh, use for those queries then you can scale down that uh, warehouse and if you see that queries are continuously using a resource fully and it is taking a lot of time in response then probably you can increase the size of warehouse so that way you can monitor and troubleshoot warehouse performances now how are you charged for warehouse uses so basically uh, as i mentioned in that form right let me show you that form again so this is the warehouse so as you can see this is one credit per hour two credit per hour so here one credit is equal to three dollar which i have think i think already talked right so they are using unified unit called credit right so whether you use standard uh, standard type account enterprise type account or business central account in all the cases extra small will be charged as one credit per hour but one credit is equal to how much how many dollars is different in each type of account and multiple regions also 
okay so this is how this charging works suppose you have run this warehouse for 24 hours with extra small so that means 24 credits were used and if you are in enterprise account right then that means you have spent 96 dollars now you can utilize your uh, utilize your uh, features like auto suspend and auto resume and because of that suppose your usage of that warehouse was only one hour probably you are running every uh, uh, every hour one or two queries and that is probably consuming one and a half minute probably and if you consider 24 hours then you are hardly using one hour of the warehouse so when you enable this features auto suspend and auto resume then probably you are going to use only one credit per hour because you used only for one hour and all other time the warehouse uh, stayed suspended and that's how you are going to be charged only four dollars so that means you saved 92 dollars per day right so so this is one of the benefit so as i talked about benefit let me talk uh, about other benefits as well like you can uh, you have scalability features right you can use multi clusters you can change then ex uh, query acceleration this that is also one kind of scalability feature right it is going to scale your uh, warehouse for some time and because your query is like that then performance we already talked about so how this is beneficial how we are saying that performance is a benefit because snowflake has built these warehouses in such a way that query runs quickly so performance is much better cost effectiveness is one of the another benefit that is uh, we are just going to pay only for what we use like an early example we ran that warehouse for one hour all other time it was suspended so now we are paying only for one hour then as you know using warehouse is pretty easy right why because what you are doing is just creating warehouse and then just running the query that's all right so this is another benefit then security is another benefit because all the warehouses are designed with security in mind so they offer a variety of features actually to help you protect your data such as encryption access control like user roles and auditing as well before talking about limitations i wanted to show you that as you can see here test warehouse is now suspended right all the clusters are down now it is not going to charge anymore so this is how this is helpful and this is the comment which you can read about this warehouse okay so these are the features so that's all i hope you found this video very informative and helpful thank you for watching and see you soon in the next one